All right, welcome back. This one is by far, out of any deck tack I've ever done, this one has been the most fun to play with. Uh, this one has been the most fun on MTG Arena. Uh, this is just knock your socks off, uh, go to Pound Town, and, and try to break uh, the server, basically. Um, this is a lot of fun. Let me just get into the deck. So this is my upgraded version of I Life You Lose. As you guys know, I had a deck that went 10 straight wins um, with zero losses in standard pauper. So I decided to make a deck with with those elements, but make it so it can just play in standard. So here's what I came up with. We're going to run four Sacred Cats. It's got the Embalm. Embalm is huge in these kind of decks. Uh, I'll break it down in a second. Uh, another Embalm, and, and this is the heart and soul. Um, Anointer Priest is is everything. Um, she She's everything. Without her, this deck is trash. Period. End of story. You gotta run four of them. Four Sacred Cats. Four Seal Aways for a little bit of removal. One Argyles. Can I say Argyle? Whatever. Bloodfast. Um, basically, we're gonna get a lot of life. So, with paying two and two life to draw a card, sure. Sign me up. I doubt we'll ever drop below five. If we do, we probably... It's too late. We're gonna lose anyway. Um, Argyle's Bloodfast. Just one. Just for some extra card draw ability. We're going to need it because there's a similar deck like this out there um, that uh, this other guy, uh, Nummy, he came up with. And basically, I mean, he's using blue and white. Same idea as this, but he doesn't have the life drain. He just has the life gain, uh, where my deck has the life drain and gain. I think it makes it a lot more fun. Um, anyway, moving forward. Uh, Trespasser's Curse. We're going to run three of those. Enchanted Player. This is a really cool card. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, Enchanted Player is controlled. That player loses one life and gain one life. This can help keep us in the game, essentially. Because we're gaining life, they're losing life every time they drop a creature. Especially those stupid red aggro decks. I mean, we just slap them silly with these kind of decks. Um, as long as we get the right card draw, of course. Resplendent Angel. We're going to run two of them. Uh, two of them. <laughs> we're going to run two Resplendent Angels. Um, this is going to help with uh, the tokens. It's going to create tokens. We want to generate a bunch of tokens. Tokens, tokens, tokens. That's what's going to trigger our anointer priest. So we want to make a bunch of tokens. And we're going to gain a lot of life. And then when we gain life, there's ways we're going to drain them of life as well. So we're Splendid Angel. We're going to have two of those. Sun Scourge Champion. We're going to run three of these. It's got Eternalize, which is similar to uh, Embalm. But the uh, Eternalize is even cooler because we can discard a card with Embalm or Eternalize. And it doesn't go to the graveyard. It just chills like in utero uh, and in like this exile kind of thing. And then anytime we want to cast it, we can. It's not like we actually really discarded it. It's really neat. Uh, we're running three Sun Scourge. Four Painful Lessons. We're going to have some kind of draw ability. Um, the other deck, um, it, it, it's, it's hard to go up against. Um, we're actually going to verse it. I, I got lucky enough and I, I came across uh, Nunny, Nummy's deck. Someone was playing it, and I'm telling you, this is going to be the most insane video you've ever seen. Uh, triggers are just ridiculous. Uh, four painful lessons uh, for extra card draw. Four anointed processions, and a heart and soul again. This combos beautifully with anointed priest. Um, if you guys don't know what this is by now, if an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. Stupid good card, running a place out of them. Two Angel of Sanctions, um, basically because it has the Embalm, and also it's a little bit of a ex removal, basically. And it's a flyer, pretty neat. We're going to run two Crested Sun Mirrors because I love this card, and I really wanted to put it in a deck, a, a deck that actually is good and fun to play with. And I think I finally found its home. So it's a five drop. Other horses you control have indestructible. At the beginning of each end step, if you gained life this turn, create a 5-5 five, five White Horse Creature Token ridiculous and every single turn it's each end step so we can if we drop our crested sun mirror not only in our turn if we gain life but on their turn they drop a creature it triggers our sun mirror as well it just it just goes nuts it just keeps this that this deck is stupid uh epicure of blood it's uh it's a three drop whenever you gain life each opponent loses one life this is what i base the entire deck around well that and the anointer priest in the life game but Whenever we gain life, we're going to be gaining so much stupid life. Why not every time it triggers, why not suck it out of them? 
why not just drain the hell out of their life? And that's what we're going to do here. Ten plains, ten swamps, four isolated chapels. You could run um, a couple monuments. I think a couple monuments would be good in here to create some 1-1 one, one, uh, uh, vigilant creature tokens. Um, I think that'd be a good route to go if you wanted to include two of those. Um, it would probably speed the deck up a bit too. Uh, just something to think about. I do have a sideboard, but it's just kind of for whatever. Infernal Reckoning is we deal with... Uh, any kind of artifacts or whatever kind of creatures are out there, you know, your bow mats. Uh, two cast outs, two excellence bindings, and three Vraska's Content because Planeswalkers are ridiculous. All right, guys, uh, please, uh, if you like this video, make sure you thumbs up and share it by all means. This is a really fun one. If you're not subscribed to this channel, you're going to want to do that. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. It's definitely a twist on, on the other deck. That Numat the Nummy um, threw together. I'd really like to verse that deck and see which one would win. Now, I'd have to think uh, it would make sense, at least, that his deck obviously would have a lot more card draw. That's undeniably so. We're up against Lifelink right now, that's interesting enough. But with all that extra card draw, uh, I, I would imagine it'd be tough. But we have different elements. Um, anytime one of his creatures enters the battlefield or something, I mean, they're, he's going to get dinged, you know, by some of our cards. And then also uh, the other creature, whenever uh, I gain life, he loses life. I mean, it's, it's there it is, Epicure of the Blood, um, Epicure of Blood. So that's, it, it's like, uh, it's different, you know. They both have their advantages, so I don't know, I'd like to see that matchup. That'd be cool. Anyone wondering why I'm not running a Johnny in this deck? It, it just it wouldn't fit right. Yeah, I'd have a big dummy out there, but who cares? I can't do. I can't give him anything else. He's just gonna be a big stupid twenty, twenty or five hundred, five hundred. I mean, who cares? Uh, the deck really just wants to drain my opponent. I want to suck the life out of him. This one's looking a bit rough we right now. Stand together. Like my girlfriend. Look how far you've come. All right, this is, I mean, we, this all fell into our lap. Two anointed processions, come on. I'm attacking with the cat because I want to get the trigger off from Priest. If anything, I probably should have attacked. But, uh, I, well, I kind of want to wait. I want to wait till I get the second Anointer Procession out until I uh, kill off Anointer Priest and then drop him on the field. Because then it'll just explode with, with triggers. I did run a Mentor of the Meek in this deck as well. I tried it out, but what I'm using right now, this is this is the route to go. I've had the uh, the most success with it. Doing good on the lands, at least. That's a plus. See, this is what I'm talking about. Boom, 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 boom. And that's petty right now. Let's see if he's dumb enough to block this. Oh, my God. 
He just sealed his, his fate. <laughs> Oops. Shouldn't have done that, young Bill. Make you pay for that. I also test played Legion's Landing in this deck. Uh, maybe you can throw a one in, a one of, maybe, or a two of. But the, the, the important thing is the Embalm uh, and uh, Sun Scorch's uh, trigger. Those two, I mean, abilities are huge. And we really need as many of those as we can, especially since we're running Epicure of Blood. And uh, the other card that dings them every time a creature comes out. That's taken up slots. Make sure I got the right mana here. Yep. Oh, yeah, we can definitely do this. So I'll be able to get Anointer Priest out. I probably should want, I want to drop Epic here first. Yeah. Skadoosh. I'll hold off. I, I wasn't even thinking. I was thinking we only, it, only was gonna, well, it was only going to cost two. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Oh, this thing's about to go off. I don't think he has any removal. And if he doesn't, oh, baby. I've seen a lot of people running this Ajani deck. Um, it seems like they all just net decked or something because... This has to be the fourth time I've come across this deck uh, in the last 24 hours. And it's funny, I, I seem to find this deck more so in uh, bronze level 2, level 1. More so than anywhere else. Good game. He might be thinking he's got it, but oh, baby, just wait. Oh, you think you slick with that Mentor of the Meek, huh? I don't think so. I will not kill, but they will. Shoutouts to my boys, uh, Arn Eigel, Chris Nelson, John Higby, Ken Jensen, Dylan Lake. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you. All right, who's ready for Trigger City? So this Trespasser's Curse is, is just r ridiculous. It does help a lot early game, too. So this is, this is the stupid sauce. <clears throat> Just look, life drain, <laughs> life gain. That's what makes this deck different than the other. Than nummies. Oh, how things have just changed. Yeah, we definitely don't want to lose our blood. That's our moneymaker right now. Unfortunately, we don't have anything else that we can dump off here. Or that we can embalm. Might as well attack with all of them. They're just going to trigger again. I mean, he's going to get some lifelink too, but we have fun. I, I don't know. I love that. I don't know if you guys do, but I, I love seeing the life drain from him. Maybe I'm a little sick and twisted. Who brought the angel? It's so cool because you make them pay, and they're paying double. They're paying double every time they drop that. And just imagine if I had more out. It would just be stupid. I think we got this game in the, in the bag here.
seeing two anointed processions is ridiculous. I can take all that heat. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Might as well block this. That crazy matchup so far. Holy crap. Kitty scratch. Make you pay for that kitty. Make you pay for them kitties too. It's so funny. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Oh, you you want to drop some creatures? No, you're gonna pay for that. Before yeah, eternal. Unfortunately, we can't just eternalize them right now. I should probably wait. Hopefully he attacks, and I can block with Sun Scourge, and then well, it'll be game over after that. If he attacks me right now, I mean, I, I don't know what else he can, what else is he going to do? The smart play would be if for him just to attack with his flyer, and that's it, because I don't have anything in the air right now. There you go, yeah, drop another creature, make you pay. Yeah, once I made that Pauper deck, that I went 10-0. and 0, I'm like, man, if, if Pauper can do that well, I want to see what a normal standard deck like this can do, you know? So this is what I concocted. If you guys got any other uh, thoughts, you know, what you'd like to see in this deck or what, what you think would work in this deck, uh, by all means let me know. But, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure I got it narrowed down. The only other thing we could do is maybe add some more removal, um, but it's tough to make cuts on things because... We don't have um, cards like Champion of Wits in here to get crazy card draw, so we need to have some stupid card draw in here, you know. By all means, please kill it. Goodbye. Now that sucker comes back, he, that's game over, I think. Because we're just going to drain them. We might be able to knock them down all the way. Well, I mean, what if we get something else? I mean, it all depends what we get. That actually might be enough. Look at this board state. Oh my gosh. Now, anyone looking at this would, would instantly think this dude's probably got it in the bag, but not with all my tricks. I mean, I just keep gaining life. Good game. I know it's over. He's at 16. That's it. Pound town, baby. Pound town. We'll see ya. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, owned, 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 owned. Look at this. <laughs> the game can hardly keep up with it. We'll see ya. Lights out. Oh, what a fun deck. Sicarius? Was that a venereal disease? That's cool. Alright, let's see what kind of deck we're up against. A 
another really good draw. I mean, this is exactly what we want. We got a couple cats out. The Anointer Priest. What is this? Are you serious right now? I would die if this is... Nummy's deck. I would die. There's no way. Because this is this is the match I wanted. Alright, chaplain it. Let's get that card draw, baby. Nice. Angel of Sanctions will come in handy. Curse really... There's Wits. Curse... Oh my god, it's the same deck. No way. Shut up. Oh my god, I'll crap myself. Okay. Let's roll with it, baby. I'm fine to lose this. I think maybe throwing in a couple monuments that give us a 1-1 a one, one soldier with vigilance. I think that could benefit the deck, plus we can come out a little quicker. Maybe maybe, maybe include two of those. I think that would help. Plus it gives us some dummies to block with. But, I mean, our, our finishing move is, is to drain our opponent's life. That's how we win this. Yeah, I'm not ready. I don't think I'm ready for a sanction yet. I want to see if he's got any tricks up his sleeve first. See what I mean, I don't even know if this is... Well, it's got to be the same deck. He just... He has out uh, Anointed Procession also. This is crazy. This is so cool. You don't see this every day. He's running three colors. It's a little different. Maybe probably a win condition. Nice. I'll take all the land we can get right now. But after this, uh, I'd like some other stuff, please. Thank you. I need to kill off my darn priest. That's one of the downfalls. Like, really, like... We need to... We need to kill priest. him right now. Look at them triggers though, baby. It was th that life total just went stupid. His life total dropped and then like shot right back up. <laughs> like all in the same. <laughs> you see that? It like dropped to 12 and then shot to 17. That's so funny. Please kill my priest off. He wouldn't be so kind. He knows this deck. He knows he's up against the same kind of deck. 
Well, there's no chance in hell he's going to kill my priest. If he did, he'd he'd lose. For sure. Maybe throwing in a couple uh destroy target creature or something. Maybe throwing in a couple of those, uh the two drop uh non legendary cast down. Maybe include two of those in the deck. I don't know. I don't know. But just think if I had one of those right now, I mean, this game would would be pretty much over with. Because I could smack down this uh, Sacred Cat with the Annoyer Priest. Gain a crap ton of life. If only we had out the Vampire, man. Where is he hiding? Three in the deck. I can't wait till we both uh, go off. Here he goes a little bit. So funny. He's down to nine. What just happened? Oh, he had a draw. Okay. Not the game glitch for a second. Now, these kind of matches are stress tests for sure on the server. Or at least on, you know. The game itself. See, that's a huge advantage he has. Because, I mean, he just checked... He's checking out, like, ten cards. You know? And then discarding them. And that's what makes this that deck really good. Because you can discard them all. But when you discard them, they don't go anywhere if they have eternalized. Or if they have embalmed. They, they stay in your hand, essentially. They're kind of like floating in limbo, like an exile off to the side. Which is really, really neat. And that's why Champion of Wits is, is the go-to. Ah, uh, with this kind of deck, but... I mean, can I get a horse or something? A horse would wrap this game up really fast. A horse, or my vampire, or even the angel. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of stuck here. He's gonna blow up though, cause he has some. He has such a card advantage now. It's stupid. I bet he found another anointer priest. Oh gosh. Well played, sir. Well played. I mean, that could wrap up the game. Yeah, he's taking it on your procession. He's down to six. He got punished for that. <laughs> so funny. Why is it now making me hit resolve? That's weird. Arena's goofy. Also, let me hear your thoughts on this one. Who would like me to make a video? And exp uh, explain or, you know, kind of show and tell how to go about getting a beta access key. The way I did it. If you guys want to know about that, let me know. Watsy might have a heart attack, though, and ban me or something stupid if I do it, but... I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. You guys are my fans. You guys... You know, well, what's best for the channel, so. Let me know your thoughts on that. If they banned me, that would really suck. I couldn't make deck techs and whatnot, but. I mean, it's one of their own people, though, I'm sure, who are selling them, you know, or offing them. 
so just gotta know where to look. Oh god, not another. Oh man. Now this is ridiculous. He was at 12. He's gonna jump like crazy. Oh, can we kill him? Can we kill him? Ah, oh, so close. Hit him down to four. Now he's just gonna shoot up like crazy. Why do I gotta hit resolve on this? Can I just like pass a turn or something? It doesn't it doesn't do anything? What the hell good is pass turn? It doesn't do nothing, and I still gotta trigger every resolve. It's dumb. Oh well. Get it together, Hasbro. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, that's why the splash of green. Let's Not bad, but I mean, it's just one. Begins, huh? it, the ultimate's kind of stupid. I mean, what, he's, he's going to kill me with his flyer? My strength is our strength. I guess, yeah, he could. <laughs> we need to get some either card draw or, or just the right card. We need, we need something major right now. I'm glad I held on to that seal away forever. Oh, thank God. All right. It, oh, my God. No way. No way. Oh, if only we had these stupid anointer priests. I've never wanted to kill a priest as bad as I do right now. This is intense. Usually you don't see games like this. Usually arena games are fast. I mean, we're probably like 10 minutes in already. 15 minutes into this one. Urgh. See, that's, that's a big perk with Champion of Wits, because he can continuously just do that. That's what makes Champion of Wits such a good uh, good deck. Or good inclusion, makes it run blue and white. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster ride with our life total, it's so funny. But man, we're going to have three annoying processions on him. Hopefully we get the right card. From the will of many, the might She's gonna pump that up, eighteen nineteen. That's that's his win con, but not against a deck like mine where we do the same thing. If it wasn't for the curses, we would not have a chance in this match. We would have lost a while ago. We've probably already gained over 100 life. Well played, sir. Well played. That's a cool card, because that's every turn that just triggers. That could eventually kill him, too, though. Oh, my gosh. Break the game. Break the game. <laughs> Holy triggers. Nice. All right. Well, we still got to have him killed. That's the problem. He's not going to kill anything of mine. So we're probably just going to sustain. If only we had that stupid vampire. Why can't we just pull it? Wow. Three anointed processions. This is the kind of stuff you just don't see every day. This is rare gameplay right here, guys. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Look at this, it's so funny. Bing, 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 bing. My deck could be going off like that, but I don't have Champion of Wits in it. If I had my Vampire, it'd be over with. Dang. I don't even think we can lose. But I think this guy's having fun. I'm having fun. I probably won't see a match like this again. In, in months. Can you imagine how annoying it would be to play this in paper? Like having to keep track of everything? No thanks. I was on the internet and I was typing. I swear I met you. Ooh, I love technology. I, I think I don't even think he's delaying right now. I think the game is jammed. I, this is like we're we're breaking it basically. There's too many triggers going on, and I don't think I can handle it. I notice there's always somewhat of a delay after um, a lot of triggers are set off. I mean that or he's pooping. The old poop and scoop. I can picture him like dragging his arse on the rug right now. Hello, sir. Your go. Maybe he's a mathematical genius. And he and he was calculating, is this game winnable? Nope, it's just triggerable. Oh my gosh. I think he took a break. <laughs> He's in the hundreds. Holy smokes. And we're dropping down a little bit. Oh my god, come on. He put thinking. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Mathematical wisdom. Come on, man, just for fun, dude. Like, just for fun, bro. Like, kill off my freaking champion, just for fun. Come on. Then you can really see what my deck does. Well, I need that dang vampire. <laughs> good game. It is a good game, man. It's a really good game. <laughs> These are these are the best matches. This is this is the this is the best this is the most fun I've had in a long time on here. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming, make magic fun again. I mean, we're basically at a stalemate. I, I don't think he can win. And I don't think I can win, but he'll end up losing. Because he'll mill himself, or I'm eventually going to pull my vampire and it's over. I pull that vampire, we'll win. We'll cut that 122 life total down real fast. Yeah, he can't win. I mean, I, I, yeah, he can't win. Unless he's got removal, you know, when we do drop... Um, certain creatures. Those triggers, he, he just can't, he can't win with those triggers. I mean, gain all the life you want, pal. Because I can just do the same thing right back. Ugh, oh, it's cool. I got another one, but nothing to go with it. I wish I could just attack him and, and he would do some damage. Kill off those guys. It'd be really cool to show you guys like what my deck's capable of. Well, we got three annoying processions out here. Come on. 
only we could flip those anointer priests. Oh my, th this board would be stupid. Nice. <laughs> I think you, I think we've both concluded it, it, it's a stalemate, or, or well, I'll end up winning in the end because of his card draw. He'll end up milling himself to death. He's almost, I mean, he's probably got 20 cards left. What a match. Yep. Unreal. That was cool. Give it a thumbs up. Definitely. I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. As always, PLA.